at 90 degrees. That's 25 degrees above average, and that is a lot of warmth to contend with. Yeah, Amy, by the way, the water equivalent in that snowpack, the average of across the Sierra Nevada, still four feet. There's mm. a lot of water that still needs to find its way into the valleys. Let's find out how it's going to get there and if it will go nicely. Water managers and researchers are closely watching you know, this year's massive snowpack that we're talking about. The mountains are just loaded up, and they act as a storage bank that should deposit water over time. All that water, though, rushing into rivers like the Colorado River may not behave as we'd like it to. Water that's crucial for food, life, energy, for all the Western communities is a risk. Now, for a region that suffered through years of drought, it's important to hold on to every single drop. Professor Stephen Fosnott is a snow hydrology researcher at Colorado State University. You know, this was almost too good to be true out west this winter. Now we're dealing with the snow melt and it's a race to hold on to the water. How are we doing so far? Well, we, we often look at April 1st as the big date, and those numbers were almost astronomical. You know, there were places in California where we were at 300% of the average, places in Arizona where we were six, 800% of average, huge amounts of snow. And even if we look today, we're still, you know, most of the Western US is still well above average. So there's lots of snow up there and it has to melt. And with these conditions that that you and your crew were just outlining, it, it's gonna be melting fast. You know, Stephen, there's always two sides to water management. It seems like there's either too much or too little. What are some of the big takeaways from this winter and some of the big mistakes that could go down as the melting happens? The, what we always have to consider also is the uncertainty. And it's last year, and, and if we look back for the last two decades, we've been in drought. So we've been really miserly about our water, but also still using too much water. And this year, we just have a huge amount, and we are, are, are filling up our reservoirs where we can. But if we look at some of the big ones, like Lake Mead, Lake Powell, you know, they're, they're not going to be easy to fill up. We're not going to fill those up within, you know, one good snow year. When you look at the water situation um, and it becomes too much too quick, they do do releases um, in water management out to the ocean, which is water lost. Are there concerns that we might be releasing too much of the water and not finding a place for it to be used later? Well, in, in a lot of these systems, we, we only have so much storage. You know, re reservoirs are old technology. They've been around for millennia to, to be able to store water for when, you know, when the water comes down the system, here snow melts, and then using it when we need it later in the season. But we, we only have so many of these reservoirs, and we are starting to think about other options, starting to look at groundwater recharge. If you look at the Central Valley, we've been pulling water out of the groundwater for half a century or longer, and that has caused problems. Now we have uh, Tulare Lake that's rebuilding. Before we let you go, only a few seconds left. We've watched this balance and imbalance happen over the last couple of years. Will California ever truly be drought free? <sighs> Pro probably not, and that's just the nature of California. You know, we have the mountains, we have a lot of snow some years. The, the climate has, has shifted. So California in the Southwest, you know, drought is the new normal. And so we're just hopeful that we have big years. Thank you for taking the time. Interesting conversation, and there's going to be a lot to talk about in the coming weeks. Professor Stephen Fosnott, thank you so much for being with us. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.